Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekly mystic for February 20th through February 26th of 2023. Remember, all energies are here, sun, moon, and rising signs collectively, every single one. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with this energy, we're looking at the weekly vibe for each day. It's like a forecast. So we're forecasting the the energetic weather, right? Bringing in that relentless optimism that we love. And as we begin, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. These energies help me. When you like it, it allows me to be more into the algorithm of the great and powerful Google, and it lets my videos be promoted faster. So I appreciate your help in that. So here we go, into the reading. Ooh, we have the Ten of Swords and the Justice card. These are big changing energies. So the Ten of Swords is releasing the target from your back, feeling like everything's just kind of dissipated and released. You are no longer being bombarded by negativity or the kind of anxiety energy, toxic people, toxic places, toxic things. This is a closure of that cycle. And we have the Justice card, which is Divine Focus, the Libra Major Arcana as well. But she is literally closed her eyes off to the reality of this dimension and is manifesting what she wants to create in this dimension. And that's why she's got her eyes covered so that she doesn't keep looking at what's not there as she continues to bring it in. So when you're in your beautiful higher mind and the meditative is space or the creative space of manifestation, you want to be in a place where you can open all possibilities and stay focused on your best possible outcome. Now, this card additionally means right decisions being made by you and for you. So really strong energy of releasing what's been dragging you down and focusing on where you want to be instead. So let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. All right. So we're in a place of stability and good communication, solid foundation. This can be in your household energy, your relationship energy, and your work energy, being very grounded and stable. The four pillars or the rods hold it in a very secure place. And for some of you, this is the energy of nuptials or being in a place of a relationship that is going very well. And you may even, even be cohabitating. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek. To assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday energy with the Seven of Swords, which is also very much in that same frequency of that Ten of Swords. This is walking away from what no longer serves you. It can mean giving two weeks notice. It can be releasing old habits or letting go of things. We're still at the beginning of the year, so we're still doing that purging and culling. I don't know about you, but I haven't had much time to do so. There's been a lot going on at the beginning of the year. So we'll continue that out through the spring. That's why they call it spring cleaning. So allow yourself to release anything that's no longer vibrating with you, and you feel like it's time for it to go. Don't try to hang on to it. Release it. If it's supposed to be for you, it'll return. And here we go. Oh, hey, we got big changes here. So release, release, release the tower. The tower is the lightning strike energy coming in there where the universe is taking something out of the way that's been blocking your path forward. So you're either being released from something that's been holding you trapped or you're being completely uh, opened up for this energy as it takes this tower down. You have the uh, an open path forward. So yay team for the universe helping us out. So as we move in through this energy, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day today. 
as we move to the energy of this beautiful reading. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, weekend energy, Saturday, Sunday, and Archangel Michael. So fear not, fair maidens, and, and well, I guess fair maidens and I don't know what the, the masculine would be. My brain isn't going there. Fear not, fair maiden. <laughs> we'll just go there. The king of swords is here. This is the Archangel Michael energy, and it can be air sign energy. So Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini Major Arcana are both available or all available to you. And just right off the bat, what's catching my eye is a lot of sword activity and change activity because you had the Libra Major Arcana, which is air sign energy. You had the Ten of Swords, which is the clearing energy, the Seven of Swords, and Archangel Michael. That's Those are all tying in together, and that's why I'm kind of noticing that. We'll see how the rest of the week goes. We have friendship. Listen, this cannot be overstated enough. We don't get through this without any interaction with other people. And when you're in a frequency of people who maybe don't match you, but you keep continuing to stand your ground in your energy and draw people who do match and release those who don't, it's a lot easier to move through life with people who are at least willing to entertain your collective thoughts, you know, what, whatever you've got going on, even if they don't do it themselves. I've got lots of friends who aren't doing what I'm doing, but they appreciate me for what I do and how I do it. So you want to have people in your circle. There's got to be a group. You can't just isolate yourself and go through this pretending like there is no, you know, you're not. It, it, it feels like weakness when you allow people into your energy. And I can tell you I had a hard time with this because it's hard to trust people. So just allow yourself for the universe to show you who's for you. And then when they minute that they don't align, just Give it a second and see what's going on with them because they may have something happening. But if they continue to go down a different path, let them go. They will move on. Special friends are here to help me and bring me strength through difficult times. So any difficult time you can think of, you know, even if they can't make it go away, having someone to stand at your side and weather it with you is invaluable. So be sure to allow yourself to have at least a couple of good strong friendships that you trust and they don't have to be family they don't have to be anybody that's you know that you it could be a new person that comes in that's actually very strong in their energy so affluence I choose to be debt free and live an affluent and healthy life man I can't say enough for being debt free it relieves you of so many issues and fears and 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 just toxic energy of, of owing and being in that perpetual payment. So allow yourself to release all things. I like to see things stamped with a red stamp paid in full. That's how I visualize it. And I add zeros and and ones and zeros, ones and commas. <laughs> I meant zeros and commas, but we'll throw ones in there too. Let's throw a million on top of everything. One comma and then the red. <laughs> One comma, zero, zero, then your rest of your stuff. Add that to your, your bank account every time you look at the balance and see how that works. Fire agate, creativity. Now this one is a very uh, beautifully colored fire agate. Remember, all stones are made a little different. This is a traditional fire agate. This would be an iridescent fire agate. And here is... The traditional and I do have them though that one I call them masculine and feminine because one of them is darker than the other and this one has some white in it and this one is very much got that darker color resonating through it so that's my masculine and feminine energy for those stones they're palm stones fire agate is a really strong energy if you're an artist musician Somebody that's creating, writing books or creating music. Oh, I said musicians, but you can be you can be a composer and be able to do all kinds of things. So anything creative, that means something that you're bringing into this universe that does not exist in the way that you're bringing it in. It may exist in, an, in a new way, but you're going to put your unique spin on it. And that's part of the energy of firing that up. That fire agate is really good for that. Okay, here we go. 
Remembrance. The frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in a body, providing us with the valuable information and tools to flow gracefully with and in this life. So as a soul in a body, meaning your human experience. But I will caution, do not take a deep dive and climb off into the, into the poo reservoir um, when you start to remember, don't go to the negative things. Remember that you were in this, you know, maybe negative space, but don't detail it for yourself. Don't tell the story again. And then go, and I'm so glad and, and grateful now that I am in this other place. I don't resonate with that anymore. And release it. Remember and release. That Don't keep l reviving it so that you have the negative stuff. Revive the happy stuff. Think of every accomplishment. Think of those things. Now, here we go. You ready? Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh, boom, chakalaka. There's the tower and the seven of cups. So this tells you that once this tower comes down, which we also had earlier, the tower coming down with the seven of cups means this is removing something that was blocking your dump truck load of blessings. Now it'll be a clear space for this to come into your life as this is released and you can actually be in a place of kind of um, reassessing and and changing the way you do things and the way you receive things in life it can be in that place of breakthrough because that's what exactly what that is so seven of cups in the tower is monday's energy tuesday's energy Money, 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 and power. <laughs> so we have the energy of the uh, the Page of Pentacles, which is bringing in an offer or just telling you, hey, we'd like to give you this beautiful money. And there is the King of Rods, which is the action energy, also boss energy, entrepreneurial energy, and work energy, right? So you could be a supervisor or a boss. You can own your own business and be the owner, which is the big, big kahuna energy. And you can be in the energy of taking action on what you already have as, as an entrepreneur. So very solid energy on Tuesday, page of Pentacles and the King of Rods. Also fire sign energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries major arcana. When you see it show up in the masculine, it means it's fully formed. And... We have more creativity going on here with the energy of the moon. This is the Pisces moon with the three of pentacles. The Pisces moon is like an embryo. That's what my guides have explained. And you see the chakra energy here and the white light here. You want to be in alignment with the chakra energy to allow yourself to push that white light into form of what you're trying to manifest. So as you do so, you put each place in and you put each person each each day and you put yourself in the energy of repeat, rinse and repeat, meditate, rinse and repeat, meditate, rinse and repeat. And that's putting each little paying attention to the details, putting yourself in a place, even if it's not happening yet. This is in a place where we're creating something that you may not see yet. So that's the whole thing taking form. And you just have to keep putting that energy in, putting that energy in, putting that energy in. And that's when it starts to take hold. So, and you see this little clockwork. This looks like the innards of a clock here. So that's what makes it start to happen. Here we go. That's Wednesday, the three of pentacles and the moon. And Thursday is, oh, big victory. Boom. <laughs> Boom chakalaka, as I like to say. So here's the energy of the six of rods and the sun card. Six of rods is an amazing energy of triumph, victory, overcoming all challenges, being in a place of head, head and shoulders above the rest. Then you've got the sun card, which is the happiest card in tarot and absolutely means rejuvenation, rebirth, full fruition of what you're trying to do it coming in absolutely perfectly and, and above and beyond where you thought because that's the universe telling you its hand is in the success of this. So we love the sun card. It really is known as the happiest card in tarot. Ooh, that's Thursday. Friday, King of Pentacles, which is King Midas, and also the uh, Earth sign energies of uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. And you've got the Aquarius Major Arcana, 
the star. The star card is the energy of being very much in a place of receiving exactly what you are asking for and being in a place of ascension and moving into your soul's alignment. So whatever your soul agreement is and your soul contract in this lifetime is, you're aligning with it and the universe is saying, absolutely, yes, you may step into that now. So star card right next to the sun card. So we're, we're still in a really great place. And the weekend energy is even though you feel some resistance, just allow it to be purified and cleansed. You've got the death card, Scorpio Major Arcana, also known affectionately by me as the Cosmic Garbage Man. As he takes out the trash, recycles, restores, renews, and cleans the slate so that you can have a brand new path forward. And that's exactly what you need with that tower energy at the beginning of the week. This guy's coming in to clear all this, all the little nuisances out of the way. And if there's a person that's a nuisance, farewell to them and good luck in your future, right? <laughs> See ya! Or as we know, bye Felicia. We're going to let go of all that negativity and move into the positive creative source energy. We are going to allow ourselves to release the past negativity and remember how far we've come. Because once you see you've been doing this methodically and you've been having a success and every time that you do something new, even though it may take a while to get to the success, success happens when you stay focused. And that's what you're doing, my darlings. Have a beautiful week. I send you lots of love. Lots of light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, and divine prosperity to you all. Namaste, my friends.